Hi, welcome to this video deck, which is all about tough Forex stop losses and when you should move them to break even or to entry. Now, this is a very commonly asked question, particularly by beginners online. When should you do it? My answer to this question is not very often at all. Beginners are too keen to move their stop to entry. They get a little bit of profit. They decide to put the stop at break even. And the logic of this is, well, now, I can't lose. I'm playing with the market's money. I can only win. That is true, but that is only on one trade. If you're a Forex trade, you're obviously going to be in numerous trades. And if you do this, put the stop to break even to entry too quickly, then basically you are never going to make any money from the Forex markets over the long term because you've restricted your profit potential, okay? Now, I want to go through this in more detail and when you can move your stop to break even or to entry. I'm just going to go to a chart. We're going to go through some points. I'm just going to go through how I would place a stop loss and you'll see why moving a stop to break even or entry most of the time is not a great idea at all. So let's go to the chart and go through the points. All right, uh, just on the chart of the Australian dollar against the US dollar, I'm just going to do an illustration of why it's not a good idea to move a stop loss to break even too quickly in relation to my own strategy. But yeah, I know all strategies are different, but uh, it'll illustrate the point perfectly. But first of all, um, I just want to go through loss aversion. Now, we are loss averse as humans, not just in the Forex markets. We dislike losing more than we like winning. OK, now just to give a simple example, if I f do the flip of a coin, you lose $10 if it lands on one side of the coin. How much do you want to win to take the bet that it falls on your side? You're not going to ask for $10, are you? You're probably going to ask for $20. Um, this is a very simple illustration of loss aversion. Um, you can look up Daniel Kahneman, Nobel Prize winning psychologist's um, prospect theory, which goes into this in more detail. And he's tested it in numerous different ways. And I think most Forex traders um, will appreciate that kind of urge, you know, not to want to take a loss, you know, especially beginners. It does override the desire to run a profit. Now, in terms of, um, you know, trading, obviously, you know, most beginners move their stop to entry just to prevent the loss okay but point number two a large percentage of losing trade has trades has no impact on a strategy's profit potential that comes from bill eckhart one of the greatest traders of all time he's right he taught uh, a group of trader traders called the turtles with a, another legendary trader uh, richard dennis and that strategy had a 75 percent losing ratio they're only winning 25 percent of their trades but they made huge amounts of money. Um, they're compounding 100 to 200% per annum. It's the size of winners over losers. If they kept moving their stop to break even with the strategy they used, um, they never made any money at all, probably would have lost. Now, moving a stop to break even quickly, are you confident in your strategy if you do that? I think, yeah, a lot of traders don't think about that. If you're confident in your strategy, your edge and your trade, you wouldn't do it too quickly, would you? You'd be confident the trade is going to continue. So I think a lot of um, beginners just not confident in their strategies. They don't have an edge, and that's why they're so keen to avoid the loss. Now, moving stops um, to entry or break even is psychologically comfortable. And Bill Eckhart once said um, to the Turtles, if it's comfortable, don't do it. It's the wrong thing to do. It, it is. In, in Forex, you have to do uncomfortable things. That's what separates out winners from losers. It's not for people who want comfort, okay? You've got to be um, able to deal with risk in the right way. So the key to success is the size of winners over losers. Um, yeah, so the ratio as such uh, is not that important. Obviously, you've got to have a strategy with an edge, okay? But let me just illustrate it with my strategy. Um, I wanted to go short the Aussie dollar, it came up to 70. Now, I know this 70 level is a key weekly level of resistance. It's a very firm level, or I thought it was in my view. And I want to come short off the level. So she pokes through, she comes down, and I'll come in at 
50. Okay, we're at 68, 69. So just under 100 pips. Now, a lot of traders will be tempted to move their stop to break even when they've got 100 pips. But um, think about Forex markets. They can easily move 100 pips in a day. That's just normal market noise. Okay. Um, so normally I'll be risking at least 100 pips on a trade. How much do I need to make on the other side? Well, I've got a hit ratio or win ratio of just under 50%. I want 200 to 300 pips minimum. So what would happen if I moved my stop to break even? Well, it's going to be there, isn't it? Now, obviously, I could easily flick back to there. That's the key level, okay? So I want to be behind the key level. So my stop is going to be still behind 70, okay? So I see this is the first level of resistance, and that's the really firm second level. So what I'm going to do is keep my stop behind second level, okay? Now, if you look at the chart, we're trading right at support. It can obviously bounce. I think it can only bounce there, or we can break. If we break clear of this level, okay, uh, so away from... Yes, the 69 level decisively, say about 68, 30, 40, I could bring my stop down and I can put my stop here. So I could put it at break even um, or, or just behind break even. So, you know, 10 or 20 pips away from my entry. It's very rare that my stop exactly will go on break even. That is now second level if this level breaks. So, what I'm doing effectively. Is keeping my stop back behind the second level, keeping it out the way of the noise. I'm confident in the trade, okay? And I'm prepared uh, to stick with my strategy. I, I know that if I do this repetitively over time or repetitively, then I will win longer term. If I was to snatch that profit or put my stop to break even, I'm not going to get anywhere longer term. So that is the way that you really need to trade in my view. Of course, at times I might give back my profit and get stopped out, but I need the big winners. You know, I said 200 or 300 pips. Um, that's my minimum target. I'm normally after 500, if I can get them, of course. But you can see the logic uh, of what I'm saying here. Yeah, sometimes you can move your stop to break even if it's behind the second level or very near to it. Uh, but don't do it too quickly. It's a fatal trading error. Okay, focus on the long term, and your strategy's edge will prevail. Um, that's the way I look at it. Um, anyway, so yeah, just be careful about yeah doing the comfortable move the stop to break even. <laughs> it, it it will restrict your profit potential longer term and can actually ensure that your strategy actually loses in certain circumstances. So that's my view. Uh, on moving stop losses and uh, that's the video for today so thank you very much for watching me as usual take care have a good day